10 pink shirt in all Silvestri. Broadway limited imports. And this is just before Thanksgiving in Florida. Yes, I, I realize that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and it's November, but we didn't make a video last month. So breast cancer can't be ignored. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a, a, a real nice organization that's worthy of your considerations. Many of you have noticed that Broadway has stepped up our diesels. Bob's main consideration is that he wants road specific detail. There are, so there are many variations of the same base model. And case in point, the Paragon 4 Rolling Thunder added onboard capacitance, GP35 and HO, full sound and stealth versions. The four axle 2500 horsepower GP35s were built between 1963 and 1966. In those 41 months, 1,334 locomotives were produced for American, Canadian, and Mexican railroads. Kind of amazing. The GP35s feature dual mode decoder, smooth, slow speed operation, all wheel electrical pickup, superb painting, many separate applied details such as handrails, grab irons, horns, bell wipers, and etched metal grills. Prototypically accurate sounds, Two operating couplers will operate on code 70, 83, and 100 rail. Minimum operating radius 18 inches. List of individually controlled lights in our GP35 models. Ditch lights where appropriate, cab light, headlight, rear light, Mars light, number board lights front and rear, front classification lights, rear classification lights, emergency light, rotating beacon where appropriate. Hey, end scalers, next up is the Paragon 4 Rolling Thunder added on board capacitance, which is a game changer. USRA Pacifics in end scale, both full sound and stealth. The Pacifics were built around 1919, and some lasted to the early 1960s. We have 20 different paint schemes that feature authentic sounds, precision drive mechanism, prototypical light operation, die cast body with die cast chassis for maximum traction effort. It ain't plastic. Two operating micro trains compatible couplers, separately applied handrails, ladders, whistle, and brake bell will operate on code 55, 70, and 80 rail recommended minimum radius 9.75 and these should be in stores around mid-December. Hey Model Railroaders, question for you. Why do locomotives have windshield wipers? It's because it's not always sunny on the railroad. <laughs> It's an inexpensive project that's really fun, and it's going to add a new dimension to your railroad. And it's the Lightning Storm by BLI. People, you know, they see layouts, they expect a lot, they don't expect a Lightning Storm. Why 
wiring is simple. First, you put the, uh, the button. There's two black wires that go to the, where it's labeled button. Secondly, there's black and red, and just follow the directions. There's a volume control, power supply, and the RCA jack. Now here's Curtis with a sneak peek. Hey everybody, Curtis Koch here from Broadway Limited Imports. We've got a lot of great stuff coming up in the next couple of months and we want you to be aware of it so that way you can get your order in before we sell out. The first that we have coming in is the N-Scale SD40-2s with Paragon 4 sound and our Stealth Series non-sound DCC ready. So if you haven't gotten your hands on these yet or put your orders in for these yet, make sure you do so before it's too late. We've got a lot of great paint schemes on these, including, as you can see here, the Burlington Northern Bicentennial unit. We've got the Wisconsin Southern 40th Anniversary unit, as well as some other paint schemes and road names that you are probably familiar with and want to add to your railroad. For HO scalers, the next two locomotives are for you. We've got F units coming in. Again, more new paint schemes for you to get your hands on and to add to your 1950s, 60s eras model railroad. We've also got the Baldwin Shark noses. We've got some prototypical paint schemes such as Pennsylvania Railroad, New York Central, amongst others. And we've got some great fantasy paint schemes such as Southern Pacific Black Widow, Santa Fe paint schemes uh, and their freight units, Central Railroad of New Jersey, Conrail, Duluth Masabi Iron Range. We've got a lot of great different fantasy paint schemes for you to add out there, kind of as a what if sort of scenario to add to your layout. One more project for you end scalers are newly tooled E7s, E8s, and E9s. Their order deadline is November 30th. So as you're probably watching it, it might be past the order deadline, but don't worry. You could still contact your dealer and get your order in and get them in now before it's too late so that way you can get your guaranteed road name or paint scheme or specific road number that you want before we sell out. Again, these are newly tooled, new sound, both in Paragon 4 and in Stealth. So make sure you get your orders in before we sell out and before it's too late. Ken, let's go back to you. Thank you, Curtis, for the sneak peek. Those are always fun. Now, I wanna thank you all for watching and indulging us. We love what we do and we love to get to show you. And we hope you'll have a nice Thanksgiving and uh, it's time to get those layouts ready for Christmas. Come on, start working on it. And until next time, happy railroading. Here's that great organization I was telling you about. Hello, my name is Cindy Thornton, and I'm so excited to welcome you into this little information session about Charlene's Dream, which is a local community cancer resource center. We are here to provide education, support, and merchandise to women going through any type of a cancer journey. And um, as a breast cancer survivor myself, I know that that can be a really troubling journey and sometimes it's just knowing that you've got someone locally that can sit down and explain to you what's going on, can um, embrace you with support from other survivors and or just privately and also some of the merchandise um, supplies that you might need that you have no idea even exist. We understand that as you're going through a journey with cancer that finances can sometimes be at the top of the list as far as your concerns. And we do want people to know that the services that we offer, the merchandise that we offer here is completely free to anyone that needs it. And although you may have insurance that covers these, we can guide you to, to follow up with that later at the beginning when your deductibles are all needing to be met and um, things are pretty intense on the financial level, we are here to help alleviate that. That's why we're here and we have a lot to tell you about. There are some resource um, options below. Please investigate us further. <laughs>